Alrighty, Coach, two conference wins, regional wins, of course, getting off to the right foot against two teams in Cameron and MSU Texas. So first, kind of an overview of how things went in your opinion. You know, it was, uh, this conference is such a bear. If you fall behind and you lose home games, you're chasing your tail right from the beginning. So getting two, two home wins gets us off on the right foot and really sets us up. I thought uh, uh, Cameron, we came out a little sluggish and we got up about nine or 10 points and it just kind of stayed there for the whole game. And our guys learned after that. And when we played Midwestern, uh, we got up 10, then we got up 20, and we kept it there and we never really let them back into the game. So uh, showed good improvement from Thursday to Saturday, and now we got to get ready for Lubbock on Thursday night conference. And how important is it for Gotch to have the performance that he had that Thursday night, of course, coming in? You talked about how the team had been struggling to kind of get good three-point shots. He shot some good ones, and then he shot some ones that just fell. So Yeah, Gotch is a... He's a, he's a great shooter. He's pretty confident. You know, not a lot of people start the way he starts and then still maintain the confidence that he has. And uh, he got in a good rhythm early, and the guys found him the rest of the game. Then in the second half of that game, I actually think he was too open for some of them. But it's great to have him back. We knew he was going to have a game like that. We were hoping it'd be soon. I think he'll do that the rest of the year for us. Quay Grant also had a he had a huge Saturday along with uh, Ryan Quaid's you know uh, career career uh, tying record I should say uh, just just talk about just Quay's kind of come up and says you know being a top scorer for you guys you know I think we look at it and all five guys we always have in the court can score so one game if a team that decides to go after somebody he's that talented he's that skilled and the one thing. We've learned with Quay already early in the year in 11 games is if, is if he plays a game he doesn't think is that good, the next game he's been really sharp and tough. But uh, to be brutally honest, he's not doing anything out there that we haven't seen before or expected. Uh, we put these guys out there, it doesn't matter how old they are, we expect them to perform. And uh, he expects himself to perform. That's what's great about him. Um, talk about uh, Derek Gannis's performance over the past couple of weeks. You know, Derek is really finding his way with the team. Uh, he does a lot of things. So the one thing about him is you put him out there and he can cover a point guard, he can cover a center. So you know at the defensive end, he's not going to be a liability. Offensively, he's, you know, that's where the struggle has been for him. And he's starting to find where he fits with guys, how he can contribute at that end. So you're going to see more of that as it goes. But the great thing about him is we throw him out there and we don't have to match up. It's, hey, you might have the point guard, you might have the center, it doesn't matter, we know he's going to get it done. And he brings so much energy to the team where they know they got to box him out. And if they don't, he's going to get the rebound. And when he comes out after, he's worn some people out. So when people go back in, those guys are dog tired to, to take us on again. How, you, how have you seen some of the development of the younger guys on the team this year? The great thing about them is they care about fitting in uh, they get along great with the upperclassmen. Gotch and Ryan and Brandon Hall especially have done just a great job leading these guys. And they haven't had egos with these younger guys coming in and performing right away. So the young guys have done a really good job not stepping on anybody's toes or having any arrogance to them. They want to get better every day. You'll see them at practice and they got a great attitude and they just want to fit in with the seniors. So. I think you're going to see more to come. That's a great thing about this group is we're sitting at 10 and 1 and we still have a long ways we can we can go getting better. Uh, LCU's coming up. Um, you guys beat them here last time you guys faced uh, faced them. Uh, you know, what's 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 kind of going to be the difference going into this upcoming uh, The scary thing with that is having a lot of new players on the team. This is like a conference and we we're going to tell our guys when, when we go to Cameron and Midwestern, it's going to be two different games than what it was this past weekend. And the mindset is, for us, is you know our one loss to Western State, what would our mindset be if they were coming in to play us? I think we'd be pretty amped up. That's what LCU is going to have because we beat them two weeks ago. That's going to be their mindset. We've got to be mentally and physically ready to go because that's a great team and a great program we're going up against.